Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. And it is Friday. So Charlie and I are out at our usual spot. And he's already got two. By the time I got my line in the water, he's already got two. Um, it's always a competition with us, which is good. Last week, I forget what it was at Charlie. 11? 11 to 10. Like he hasn't reminded me of that before. 11 to 10, he won. And so the game is on. Always trying to push each other to do a little better. And that's good. A little healthy competition. When I find that he's getting the fish and I'm not, I'll ask him what he's doing. And I may learn a few things. That's good to know. Lost Today our, worm. Lost a worm. Well, I taught you how to put him back on. So there you go. Today our proverb is Proverbs 27, 17. As man sharpens, or as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. And it is about pushing one another. Um, just as you sharpen a knife, you, you take off the ragged edges, you, you hone a, a nice edge on it. So we do that. We push each other to be better, to learn a little bit more, whether it's putting a worm on a hook or figuring out exactly where to put that hook in the water. Our relationship with God is similar, too. There's some things that we can work on, not for God's part. Um, can we get God to love us more? No, of course, he loves us infinitely. Do we need to get God to forgive us more? No, of course not. His forgiveness is complete. But for our part, you know, could I do better paying attention to him and his words? Yes, absolutely. Um, could I, in so doing, try to strengthen that faith? Yeah, absolutely. God wants us to do that. And could I do a better job of living my life for him? Yes. Yes, a hundred times yes. And that is where we encourage each other and we sharpen each other. We push each other to do better. We encourage each other to listen more, to take to heart the promises of God. We encourage each other in our life of thanksgiving. We sharpen one another um, as we encourage each other in that most important aspect of our lives, our relationship with God. And that's why God put us together. You know, my relationship with God is one-on-one, -on -one, but it's not just one-on-one -on -one because we're all, we're all in this together and we help each other. That's the way it's got to be. And I thank God that that's the way it is. May God give us the strength to do that. We pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the forgiveness and the love that you show us daily. Uh, we ask that you help us to see it, to hear it, to live it and help us to encourage one another and to be encouraged. We ask that you strengthen us, strengthen our, our, our bodies and our minds uh, during this time where the coronavirus, COVID, seems to be resurging in our country. We ask that you bring it to a pause. We ask that you allow the doctors to find a, a vaccine for this so that we might deal with it completely. Um, but we know that this is a part of life, um, disease, even death. And so we entrust ourselves to you, knowing that that is never the end for us, but that we are yours now and in eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, so I'll make the announcements quick. Again, the ladies are meeting on Tuesdays, again, out at the Schaefer Pavilion at Park and Crivets for Bible study, 9.30 on uh, Tuesday morning. Social distancing, masks, that's up to you. Use your best judgment. And keep coming with the proverbs it's really nice to be able to share these with you and to hear some of your favorite ones so look through it with your family uh send a couple in we'd love to hear from you and with that i still haven't caught a fish so i got to give it a little more time and have charlie show me what he's doing uh god bless your day